Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to add JWT authentication on our Swagger UI. Now, we've been using Fast API JWT auth for carrying out our JWT authentication. Now, however, Fast API JWT auth uh, doesn't have the support for uh, JWT auth on our Swagger front end. So I came across a GitHub issue that has solutions that can help us to carry out that specific uh, that specific configuration. So right here we have one that can allow us to create a custom Open API schema that can help us to be able to document our UI as well as to help us to authorize our users to access the different endpoints via our Swagger UI. So I'm going to use, make use of this code. So what we have here is we uh, define our custom open API, then we go ahead and uh, basically describe our security schemes. So the example here is making use of uh, AuthJWT, cookie access or cookie refresh and so on. But the example we shall need is one that helps us to carry out our bearer auth on our front end. So when you go ahead and scroll through the solutions, actually what you may need first is this input. So I'm going to leave the code to this in the description so that you guys can check it out and be able to carry this out on your own. So I need to copy this and I'm going to head over to Visual Studio Code. And within my Visual Studio Code, uh, the file I'm interested in is going to be main.py. So I'll go to main.py. And what I'll do is to include these inputs and save. So I'm going to go back to our GitHub. So right here, I'm going to go uh, to the section where I saw the bare JWT authentication. So I'm going to come right here. So this is actually the code for our bare authentication. So what I'll do is to actually copy this. We need to copy this code. Actually, we need to go and copy this code. So what I'll do is to copy this. Then I'll include it within our code. So I'm going to include it. So I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough. So what we have here is we have imported a uh, get open API from first API dot, dot open API dot utils. So this is going to help us to basically create a custom open API. So we, we can basically create a custom documentation for our Swagger UI, and then also go ahead and describe how we are going to authorize users to access the various endpoints uh, with their JWT. So let's go ahead and look into that. So right now we have our open API schema, then we describe the title of our API. And in this case, what we're going to say is, in this case we have we're going to call this the pizza delivery api so this is going to be version one so we can also go ahead and add a description for our api so what i'm going to say is this is going to be an api for a pizza delivery service so right after doing that, we having our route. So we have app.route. So basically, it's going to access the routes as we have included them on our first API. So right here, we have uh, include router. So it's going to get all these routes and then add them to our route uh, instance or on our app instance, just like we saw here. So right, right now, we see that we have uh, the different open API schema. So this gets the components and then describes the security scheme. Now, now our security scheme we are using is uh, bare auth. So in this case, go ahead and specify the type of the security scheme that you're going to use. And this is going to be of API key. Then we are going to place our authorization. So this is going to be in our headers. Then we go ahead and also specify the name of the header, which is going to be authorization. Then we can also go ahead and uh, describe how we're going to insert our, our JWTs, just like you can see here. So now what is done here, we actually be able to search for all routes that have the protection of JWT required, fresh JWT required, and JWT optional. So in this case, we've used JWT required. So this will go ahead and look for 
the routes that we've, cre we've protected with uh, JWT required and then be able to uh, protect them on our swag UI. So at the end of it all, what it does is to basically update our open API schema with our custom API schema. So if I save this and head over to our swag UI, so I'm going to go ahead and access our swag UI local 8000. So when I refresh, we currently see that we've been able to add an authorized, an authorized button to our front end. So this authorized button is going to help us to be able to access the different routes on our Swag UI uh, with a JWT. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a JWT. So I'm going to head over to uh, slash auth slash login. Let me try to refresh. So I'm going to go to slash auth slash login. So this requires a username and a password and returns a, a token pair access and refresh token. So what I'll do is to log in a user. So I'm going to log in a user. I'm actually going to go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to try this out. So right here I have, I'm going to try a user called John Doe that I created. And I'm also going to provide the password of that user. So the password is going to be pass. Word. So if I execute this, we have obtained our access and refresh token. So what I'm going to do is to come and copy this access token. So I'm going to go and authorize. So what I'll do is to come to the authorize button. And right here, we can see that they are directing us to provide a bearer and then the JWT. So if I say a bearer and then provide the JWT, I'll click the authorization button so as to access the different protected routes. So when I say authorize, I'm going to close this. So not, right now, see that the padlocks have changed so we can be able to access these various routes. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'll do is to come and basically try a test to try to test a protected route. So when I say try it out, so when I execute, we now see that we're getting hello world for a route that's protected. So let's say we want to list all orders. So let's say list all orders. So this is accessed by super users. Uh, let's actually get an order by, actually this is also accessed by a super user. And the current logged in user is not a super user. So let's try another route. So let's say we want to get a specific order for the current logged in user. So let's try out. So let's say I provide the ID of, let's say two and execute. We now see that we've been able to get that specific order. So let's say we logged out. So when I go to authorized and then log out, so I'll close this. So right now we see that the padlocks have been locked once again. So let's say we try to access a route that has a protection. So if I go to placing an order, for example, let's say try it out. Then I come and say, I want to execute. We now see the detail as invalid token because we haven't been able to provide a token. So in this video, we've seen how to uh, add a bearer authentication on our Swag UI. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye.